What is going on, miners? Chump Change XD here. Hope you're all staying healthy, having a great day. As you guys know, this is my Ant Miner L7. This is the 9050 terahash model, and it is not working. Now, I did a video a couple weeks ago, actually, about mining Dynex right to Unminable, and I tried to swap this over to it so I could stack a big bag of Dynex with my L7, and it would not hash. And then I tried to swap it back over to F2 Pool to mine directly Litecoin and Dogecoin, and it still wouldn't hash. So, something in here is busted and I have a feeling it has to do with this fruit associates kit right here this is the silencer kit if you guys didn't see that video go check it out I'll leave a link above but uh, this kit works phenomenal right up until it didn't anyways now there is some fan sensors in here that I'm hoping are the issue so what I'm gonna do is I gotta get this thing all ripped apart anyways I have to build it back up so I could go get this hosted because in a hosting facility they don't want this you don't need it because it doesn't need to be quiet anyways this is mainly just for my house when I was pumping this into my HVAC system and I brought it out here to pump directly through the roof when it was hot in here so anyways let's get this thing disconnected I got to get this fan off it really just rip this off and loosen this hose clamp and then uh, we're gonna get this inside and start ripping it apart so let's do it all disconnected and it looks kind of dirty in there so I want to see what this looks like when we actually take this all apart see how gross it is the only thing that I'm really upset about that I never had a chance to do was if you guys didn't notice these feet right here these things can actually mount to the wall vertically and you can actually have the fan directly on top and have it shoot straight up into the ceiling or through the roof or whatever may have you I'll put a picture right here so you guys can see on the screen how nasty a like 16 a6 setup looks like with all all of these kits on it absolutely phenomenal but anyways let's get this thing in the house and start ripping this apart all right we made it into my kitchen here is the unit that I need to start ripping apart and this is the box with all the original fans and everything in it from when I did the disassemble so I got to get all this stuff situated at least I left all the screws inside these fans I just got to figure out which two go on the front and which two go on the back I'm assuming oh god that was loud I'm assuming these cables are a bit longer maybe not they actually look like the same length so I'm gonna have to actually reference that video and just double check and uh, yeah get everything back together so let me get these two things off here I gotta go grab a screwdriver and then we're gonna uh, just take a peek inside and see what it looks like Tell you what, it's a good thing I got my daughter a toolkit for uh, Christmas because I couldn't find my Phillips head. <laughs> but I ended up getting this whole thing apart. I got the front and the back off. Now, if I remember correctly, the fans are still in there. And that's what's holding this uh, actual little uh, shroud on that goes into the back of this guy right you can see that the screws actually screw right into the fan that's how this thing mounts if I take these off the fans are gonna fall I think I have to lay it on its side and take off this side plate if I'm not mistaken so I gotta yeah I gotta let's try that I guess let's see if we can get this thing off and get in there all right all disassembled check it out I even took the top off too now these are those uh, fan simulators right that actually make the machine think that the fans are working these are obviously representing all four of the fans There's, you can see front and back there's two that go here two that go there and that's why there are four of those little adapters or fan simulators whatever and then these fans right here for the PSU actually go plug in right there to that header there's three ports as you guys could see so I got to cut that zip tie I just kind of zip tied these together so they didn't like spark against anything or hit nothing when they were just unplugged so I'm going to plug those back in get this thing off get the grates back on and yeah just pop those off and we're gonna start getting the fans back connected to the front and the back of this guy so these right here are actually what I think maybe the culprit I'm hoping one of these are just bad and that's the reason it's not hashing because I know if the fans aren't registering on this unit then this unit is not gonna hash overall it's just gonna kinda lock itself out so I'm hoping again like I said that's the culprit so let's get this all rebuilt back up with the fans on it and hopefully we can get this thing to work look at how small these things are to be honest they all look perfectly fine so I'm not sure that this is gonna be the issue Oh, I really hope it is though. First step was to get these back on and that thing off. And I just plugged in 
those three PSU fans right there. Now let's get the other ones on. She's all back together. Again, PSU fans are plugged in. I got the front and the back fans on. I got the wires running up. Obviously, I got to put the case and stuff back on, like the cover, shroud, and all that. But you can see all the fans are plugged in here. I am really hoping that this thing will hash again. So let me just throw these back on, and then we'll go test it. This thing's still heavy, but I forgot how amazing having these handles on the ASIC were. All right, we're gonna get this thing plugged in. I really hope this thing works, because if it doesn't, that is really gonna suck ass. All right, that took two hands to get up here. The other thing about the handles I love is you're not gonna scratch the shit out of your ASIC or whatever you have it on. All right, let me get this thing plugged in. I got the two cords here, and then I got my ethernet somewhere. Where did I throw it? Where is the other end? Oh, here it is. Ah, right here, okay. Let's get this all plugged in, good to go, turn her on. One and two. All right, all the fans turned on. All right, that's a good thing. Check the back fans. Yep, they look like they're spinning. I can feel the air coming out. That's a good thing. Yeah, I think we're good. Oh yeah. Hell yeah, we're definitely good. That ramp up is a good sign. Maybe that means it's registering. All right, let's get in the computer and see if this thing's actually hashing. As you guys know, I'm still sick. So sight for sore eyes, we're not gonna be on camera, but we have, this is my laptop anyways. We have the dashboard open. It is not hashing as of right now, but let's see my pool settings. See right here, I am mining to F2 pool, or at least trying to, and you can see my account name is right there, so we should be good. Oh, and it's hashing, hell yeah. Yes, super excited, hell yeah. I thought my freaking ASIC was broken, oh my gosh. All right, well, I guess it was those uh, fan simulators. Hell yeah. Well, I guess that's it guys. It's up and running. Now I can get this thing shipped down to the hosting facility over at terrahosting.io. If you guys are interested in a hosting facility, please go check them out. I'll leave a link down in the description below. But yeah, I'm super excited. The only thing that I don't like about obviously having these fans is the noise level. As of right now, it's obviously cold in here, 38 degrees. Fahrenheit, which is, you know, the door's been open, so it's pretty cool in here. These fans are not screaming. When it is warm inside, these fans are the culprit, and they are super noisy. But, I mean, these ones get pretty noisy, too. Either way, guys, this thing's going to be going down to Terra Hosting, like I said, guys. Have a good day. Appreciate you all. Super pumped we were able to fix this. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.